Hey, what's going on? Good morning, everybody. We got the roosters cock and blue doing. We got dogs barking. And today, we are gonna have ourselves an experiment because we're gonna take a GoPro camera, mount it right here to Lumpy, and we're gonna see exactly what he sees for a tortoise eye view of a day in the life of a sulcata tortoise. So get ready, strap in, because this may be one heck of a ride. portion of my life has been all about action, which still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation, education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Kenner. When we first decided to try this experiment, it didn't go quite as planned. You see, sulcata tortoises can be kind of finicky going outside depending on the weather. And old Lumpy here was not having it on day one of our GoPro shoot. His warm and comfy tortoise barn was suiting him just fine. But for all purposes, this is not exactly the high drama we were looking for. We need action. Anyone out there who has a tortoise knows that there are days when they are perfectly content just chilling out in one spot. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. It looks like Lumpy isn't happy without his view of what's going on outside. So he's gonna do a little investigating finally. And that's about as good as it's gonna get today. All right, looks like we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. And this time, we'll start him outside. All right, the great outdoors. Lumpy's warming up and getting ready to go. Gets a little visit from female number 10. She likes to spread on out there to increase her surface area and warm her body up. And then he's on the move. Hey, what's going on there? There's uh, looking like Mahoney. Mahoney's an Irish tortoise. Just kidding. And over here, Lumpy's going to sunbathe a little bit more. Now, he's been here for about a half an hour as we've sped this up. And you'll notice that barn radiates heat that it absorbs from the sun. Any south-facing structure in the northern hemisphere is going to be really good for the tortoises to lay near. Because they're actually going to get heat right from that as well. Hey, there's Brutus. Hey, this is really cool. These tortoises say hello all the time. And who's this? Looks like Mahoney again. They're going to meet up, sniff each other, and then it's off to explore. The other really cool thing is most of the other tortoises that come on up to Lumpy happen to be the other males. And I usually think they're going to start battling, but Lumpy is such an alpha. They just come up, sniff him, and leave him be. He is definitely the big boy in this here pen. Okay, uh, pay no mind to what's happening in the background. It's just nature taking its course, and Lumpy seems to be a peeping Tom. Mahoney comes on over and says, hey dude, beat it. And he does. So, a little bit more exploration, and uh, which way do I go? So many choices in this backyard. He's just kind of hanging out, looking for the next move. The late afternoon is what we're seeing right now, and you'll just notice all the tortoises are going to be grazing. This is because they have to continually eat that grass. The grass doesn't have a lot of nutrients. You've heard me talk about this so many times. Tortoises walk, eat, then walk some more, then eat some more. They are constantly stuffing their faces, but they don't overeat because the grass doesn't have a lot of nutrients. They have extremely long digestive tracts, and what that does is it helps them break down and just really take as much nutrients from that grass as they possibly can. That's why I only feed my tortoises once to twice a week when they have such a large paddock with plants and grass for them to eat. Very important. So guys, this is the truth. This is what tortoises do all day. They warm up, then they walk around, and they're kind of like Flintstones lawnmowers. Or a prehistoric Roomba, if you know what that is. You know, the vacuums that kind of go around your house on their own. I do not mow this lawn at all. The more grass, the more food for my tortoises. There's my hammock over there, pretty cool. Anyhow, you can just see, he makes his way around the place and they cover a lot of ground. Now, albeit this is sped up extremely quickly, 
they can definitely hit a lot of the area and do a number on the lawn. In fact, if you had too many tortoises in this paddock, they would eat the grass down to the sand and that wouldn't be any good. So in here are 11 tortoises. There are three males, the rest are all the gals, and so they walk around and keep my backyard looking good. And they keep growing up fast. All right, Lumpy. Not a bad day, huh? Got to live on your salad. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tortoise eye view. We're going to peel this off right now. Oh, yeah. We'll get rid of that for you, bud. All right, man. Good times in the uh, tortoise corral. See you next time. Oh, you know, before I go, Lump, just to thank you for your participation, buddy. How about a little hibiscus treat? There you go, my man. I know that would spark your interest. See ya.